Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here and welcome back. Alright, so we're uh, back here with Stone Block 2. In the last episode we were doing the uh, Inferium Seed things. Well, I managed to get all these up to Tier 6. No, I did not craft every single one of these. Uh, fortunately, this in particular farming thing creates seeds. So, this is the only one that of all of them that we tested yesterday, I think. That does the whole seed thing. So, with that being said, and it's relatively quick too, it's not that slow. Um, I don't know if you can speed these ones up. Yeah, <clears throat> I think they're just a one type speed thing. But you also get this uh, fertilized essence, which you can use as like, uh, just like uh, bone meal, right? It's the same thing as bone meal, which is kind of cool, pretty cool. Um, so, what we're going to do going forth is we're going to make a nice little setup today where we're going to use uh, farmers and we're going to use these things with the tier three uh, growth crystals. We do have uh, some, uh, another star essence. Uh, I kept on getting booted out, so I took it out for now. I put it away. Uh, but we'll have to do a setup for another star thing as well today. Uh, that way we can start getting more essence uh, regularly and make its own little setup, right? So <clears throat> I've been doing a little bit of testing and all that kind of good stuff. And this seems to be the, the way to go. There is one other way we can do this, um, which I was having a look at too. Now it only works for tier six. As you can see, there's... Uh, there's something missing here. There's not the same menu. We're missing a photogenic isolator. You can't use the photogenic isolator with a tier six seed apparently. It only goes up to the max of five. So with that being said, what that does is you can get out of one seed, 15 essence. That's a pretty good deal, right? It's a pretty good deal. The only thing is you need sunlight. I don't know if you it's going to work down here. It should. Like, you know what I mean? I don't see why it wouldn't. But anyways, um, <clears throat> so it's going to create that, and you got to constantly put in a seed. It gives you 110% chance, chance of getting a seed. So you should be able to recycle a few seeds in there and just constantly get, like, you know, uh, essence, right? Which is pretty cool. Um, I, I think that's a really good way of doing it. Uh, in order to get this flux phyto grow, though, that's a little bit of a process. Um, we have to get an energetic infuser that we would put the rich phyto grow in to give us the flux phyto grow to feed the other machine. In order to get the rich phyto grow, oops, sorry, wrong button. Uh, we're going to have to get niter, sl rich slag, and pulverized charcoal, which are pretty fairly easy to do because we can do chickens. Uh, chickens will give us niter and there's a chicken rich slag one. So, which is pretty cool. So if we go back here, uh, I'm pretty sure I seen, here we go. We can do a chicken. So if we do a salt and Peter chicken, which is a sulfur chicken and a redstone chicken, we can get that and we can get that. We can get the sulfur, the niter, right? It'll also give us other things, but we can just throw those in the garbage. Um, then the rich slag one is the same thing. We can, uh, well, not the same thing, but uh, we can get a rich slag chicken. That's a slag chicken and a slag chicken. Oh, that's nice. Can make a rich slag chicken. So in order to get a red slag chicken, redstone, iron, makes a slag. Oh, that's pretty, really, pretty easy. Pretty easy since we have those. And then pulverized charcoal. While well, there's so many ways of getting pulverized charcoal, we can set up a little um, bonsai pot thing to constantly smelt something and uh you know and then have it crushed in something here that's powered so that way we don't have to feed it uh anything else right so those are two ways about going to get uh the inferior essence uh the mob farm doesn't create enough inferior essence in order to be sustainable for our little project um mind you we can like funnel it in too at the same time like using these uh uh what the heck are they called? The wireless um, thingamabobbers. bobbers. So we could take whatever it's being generated out of here and throw it into there if we want. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to bother with that, though. Um, really don't know yet. So 
yeah, but today we're going to get our setup in here. This is where we're going to do our farmer growing for our inferior, inferior essence. Now, there's a reason why I chose two big plots is because I want to make a lot of this stuff. And if we do two really big ones, um, we can make a nice little setup over here. I was thinking maybe taking this all out. And then we could do a nice little setup with our auto crafters and all that good stuff. Because we kind of technically have two things to go about doing in that quest line. So we got all the different types of inferior essences to do. But then we also have the different types of ingots. Now, um, going forth and you're looking at like what these ingots are used for. Not very much, right? Makes a different crafting table. and. You know, so there's really not much it's used for, but like, I don't know, I guess we can, seems like there's not much we can use it for. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, there's not much crafting use for these, for these ingots, which I find kind of weird, but, you know, they make you do this whole big convoluted thing for that, and there's really nothing, nothing there was really used for. Hmm. We'll make a few things here swords weapons see so it kind of seems to end at tier five for the the decent crafting stuff and we molt it down ah, so really there's no major point of having all of these except uh hmm, just making them i guess that's what we'll do then we'll just make a nice little big setup to just make them <laughs> that's crazy that really is crazy. All right, so it's part of the quest line anyways, and we'll just do a big setup for just that, and we'll store all the items that we make in here. I think that would be kind of good, right? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So anyways, um, I kind of got a lot of stuff set up here. Uh, I just have to make another farmer, I guess, for now. Um, I'll probably make quite a few of them. So... Now that we have the game plan, I'll go get what's left needed and we'll start setting stuff up and we'll start uh, getting ready to get these tier three growth crystals as well. So that's going to be a little bit of a process in its own. So, all right. So in order to uh, continue on, we're going to complete uh, one of our other momentous goals that we were, we were going after. Remember this uh, end steel and the pop course route in order to get what we wanted to get. Yeah. Awesome, right? So I'm going to get my wand. Now that I got my wand, I can sit here and I can like just speed it up if I wanted to. That way we can get rid of whatever's in there really quick. Like that. So now it's all done. There's nothing left in there. So we can go grab our milledolic alloys that we were looking for. Okay. And I believe this is the recipe for that one. So now this is going to give us the stellar, stellar ingots that we're looking for. Wow. Well, all right. Oh well, yeah. I uh, fast forward that myself. Got some more clay here. That's good. Fast forward this again. Still probably missing another stack. And now we're all good. Look at, we'll just toss that in there. Then we got this uh, grain of infinity and charcoal. Um, this is to make another little part that we need for it. There you go. That's all done. So I can just grab those. Need those and our stellar alloy. Now we're golden. So we got the stellar. We got this. So we should be able to make a, a nice little amount of that stuff, right? Right, need a little bit. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. I should have made some more of that other stuff though. Uh, here we go. Bam. See, now we got all kinds of energy cable. These are going to be the best energy cable that money can buy. <laughs> Let's go make another 32 of that, uh, that charcoal stuff. That wasn't too hard. I already got, um, now we can craft the what's left of it. There we go. So now we should be good for energy cables for a little while because we're going to have to set stuff up like that. So 
Yeah, so our farmer's going to go here. Another farmer here. And then... I guess we're going to have to rip this out. Perfect. So now we can put our growth crystal there. These things will be hooked up with power afterwards. Um, oh, I just didn't do the in and out thing. Uh, nerf. Um, which isn't a problem. I should be able to do it from here now. No? Let me do it. That's fine. You can do it from here like this. So, extract. Uh, looks like it will be always active. Doesn't matter what channel, we'll just make sure that it's always extract always. Then, here yeah, we can get out. And then we'll just have to repeat that process over here. And there we go. So now we got making sure this stuff gets pulled out and whatever's in there should go into here. Uh, example, inferior essence, we'll have seeds go here. Um, then, the different types of essences that we're going to create, we'll have them lined up here. There's going to be uh, six of them, or five more. So one, two, three, four, five will be here. And then we'll have the corresponding ingots going on top of them for each individual one. So let's get on with the growth crystals. Uh, here we go. Now, one, two, three. I'm going to bookmark these uh, just because some of them we can. Oh, I guess we're going to have to make a uh, a brewing stand, eh? All right, so fiddling a little bit more and looking around and uh, checking out stuff there. We've got this other thing called a potion brewer. Well, I think we're going to try out this potion brewer and see how this one works. I'm pretty sure it's uh, not a furnace, so... <laughs> <laughs> we'll make up the necessary things and I'll be ready. All right, so now we got everything we need to make the uh, plant brew. The only reason why I'm doing it with the steel casing is because apparently I had one already. So, uh, yeah, let's do it like that. Bam! All right, so now we got a uh, potion brewer here. This is good. This is good. Where do we got power? I guess we'll just throw it here just for the meantime just to check it out, right? Ooh, what's all this? So is this the reagents you need to put in? And then you put a bottle, and then that's what you're doing? Is this it? Not really sure, man. Um, I would assume so. And then all the entrances and exits. All right, so I guess we're going to need some bottles. So while we're getting stuff uh, set up for hopping bonsai trees, I was thinking maybe we can uh, set all these up now, too. Uh, not those, just these. Um, that one goes with that, that one goes with that, that one goes with that. And then we can like get some extra stuff going on here. Plus, I'll take those two at the same time. They'll be very handy for what we're about to do. Um, I guess that's it for now. All right, so I guess we're just going to use this room temporarily as like, you know, uh, hopping bonsai uh, building stuff. I think that would kind of be okay for now until I can find a place to put all this good, wonderful stuff. Uh, we'll go something like that, right? I got lots of hopping bonsais uh, to place here. All right, so let's put those away. Start off with... Uh, Purple slime stuff. Well, we'll start down here. Purple slime here and there. there go. Uh, throw that in there. Then we'll do what? The, uh, the blue slime ones. Oh, where's the blue slime? Oh, was that them? That was them. Uh -huh. Okay, so we got that. Purple, uh, oops, orange, and orange. So that should be fine. That should go in there. Now we got uh, these growing. We have all kinds of different uh, blocks, I guess. I don't know. Those are just spares for now. Um, then up here, we'll do our nether wart. So we need uh, 
was it there? Oh yeah, the um, the, the stuff here. No. Uh, another wart grows on. You can't hop in bonsai it, huh? Oh yeah. But we can make another wart chicken, right? Mm hmm. Glowstone and coca. Another wart. So I guess you know what we're doing, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing another wart uh, chicken. So glowstone and coca. That's what we're doing. And here we go. Now we got uh, 16 nether wart chickens that are 10, 10, 10. So now we can just uh, speed this up. We can get ourselves a bunch of nether wart. So I can go here like this. Bam, bam. There we go. And we can get ourselves some nether wart pretty quick here. I think one stack another word should be good for now. So, um, I'm assuming I have to do something like that, right? And then you put in that and that, and it should make an awkward potion. No? Oh, man. Um, Oh, I think it just crashed. All right, so first of all, uh, don't right shift, right click anything into uh, industrial foregoing machines, apparently. Um, causes uh, block tick errors. Uh, I learned how to uh, get rid of a block tick error, though. <laughs> Pretty awesome. So I uh, figured out this at the same time, too. So if you take uh, some glass bottles, then you got to hook this up to water, right? I didn't notice the fluid container here before. Or I did, but I just didn't catch on. So you grab the three water balls. It's going to fill up with water, right? And the potion brewing thing is going to do its thing because I put another ward up here. So it's going to make awkward potions. So that's awesome. So I grabbed the three awkward potions. I left them there. I'm going to leave them there, right? So now the next step to that is um, you got to put glowstone or wait, sugar first. Sugar first and then glowstone. So let's go get some sugar and then some glowstone. So now this is my experiment to say, like, if I put everything in, is it going to make all those potions? Now we got a potion of swiftness. Now it makes them into potions of swiftness too. Oh, that's awesome. So if we put those, oh, these in. That didn't work. Oh, is it not going to accept that if I put these back in here like that? Oh, no. You would have to, like, leave them in there, right? Oh, that's really poopy. I can't do that either. It's not going to take it. Oh, that sucks. Anyway, I can get rid of these potions. Oh, yeah, okay. So I can pop them in there. That's good. So let's do that then. And then we can grab these six here, put them back in there, right? They'll make our, our potions. This is our experimental stage right here. This is how we learn, man. This is how we learn. All right. <clears throat> oh, must be a dark spot nearby. Okay, so there's our potion of swiftness. And now we got the potion of swiftness too. That's awesome. It doesn't go any higher than that, right? Got it. All right, so that's those three. And these three should go in there, right? Boom. It was the water. Oh, this is so awesome. Very awesome. Okay, so um, then we're going to have to look into making end crystals, right? So that's not too hard. Another star, a gas tier, and some pains. Um, I don't know how many gas tiers we actually got. That's kind of scary, come to think of it. Because uh, our whole mining thing isn't really running. And 
don't get many gas tears from. See, I got two in there. Ooh. Ooh. Um. Yeah, let me see this. Yeah, we're gonna need like five, right? Um. Oh, I can make a chicken. Blaze rod chicken and a bone chicken. That's gold and lava. Oh, we can do this. All right. Oh, absolutely awesome. I went ahead and made the gas tier chicken and the blaze rod chicken. So that way we have those. I just called this down because it was kind of like getting in my way now. So, um, uh, da, 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 da. yeah. So I just put all the seeds and all that stuff in here. I did go ahead and finish this side so everything is hooked up. I don't have to go back there anymore. I should be able to just plop in a chicken and go from there. So that's good. So that's very, very good. These here are getting ready to be all set up. Just remember up top it still says Yaba item barrel. And we're going to turn them to stone. So that way our whole thing will be able to get connected by this uh, one little patent that we're going to stick down there. So it's going to be pretty awesome. Pretty awesome going forward. So now that we got our gas tiers, let's go and make those crystals, right? All right, so we'll make some swiftness potions because we have a few of these to make into growth crystals. And then hopefully we can get these tier three ones on the go. So I might actually start saving these in the mob farm um, for, for future things there. So I don't have to keep going back and looking at them. So we need five of these things. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Technically, because uh, we're making two of them, right? So, but we need one of these. I just need a regular glass and a swiftness potion. I have those. Uh, regular glass. That is a potion of swiftness. Why doesn't it let me use those? Uh, eight minutes. Uh, how fast are these ones? Three minutes. So, potion of eight minutes. All right. All right. So, now we got one of these. That gives us that. Uh, I guess I could, uh, oh, it takes four of them. I didn't know that. All right. So, let's do this. So, we should be good for that. And another one. Oh, yeah. We got the two big ones. There, how should be there. There we go. So now we can get the water. We can put the water in these spots. And we can use the um the sprinklers. Alright, so that should be enough light. I should be able to go ahead and plant all these. And technically I should be able to just go here, uh go half in here. Throw the other half in here. Oh, they have no power yet. Okay. Um, where are we gonna put it? I guess we'll put it somewhere like around here. Doesn't really matter like where it is. Like we'll just make sure that there's power going here. There we go. All these things are planting. Got some extra seeds here. These all of the seeds, yeah, all of the seeds. So, what's gonna happen now that it's only got so many seeds, right? It's gonna fill this up here. Good. And then it's all on extract green, so everything should just technically flow into there. Let me go check the uh, yeah, nothing staying in there. It should all be going into here. That's perfect. That's going up. Eventually, we're going to see seeds pop in here, too, which uh, we'll leave a spot for it. Um, and then we're going to export those seeds later on, which is going to be good. Uh, so see how fast this is? It's like crazy fast, right? This is why I chose to, to do it like this. Like that tier three is crazy. And with the sprinklers, it just makes it like even better. So. This area is kind of a little bit loud. 
So, all right, um, now that we got that done, we can start working into the next phase of our operation. All right, so uh, this is kind of what I think I'm going to do. Um, as you can see, this is already backed up and already so full that uh, we already started filling up uh, other item barrels here. So I just ripped it all down there for the moment. Um, we're going to bypass it, I think. Um, and we're going to store the stuff on top of the materials here. And I think what we're going to do is we'll end up maybe probably getting one of these little item barrel connector thingies here and doing something like this and then that's going to be hidden by a block so you're not going to see that like that kind of thing and this will control this section and then when i do the other one i'll do the same thing over here that way i can request stuff from this section to over here and stuff like that so yeah anyways it's just going to keep things um I guess a little bit more clean and more organized. Um, I'll just have to run different points off of this later on when we're trying to connect it all up to our main storage system. So, but uh, this is extremely fast and I need to be extremely fast. And um, cause we got a lot of work to do here. So the way this kind of works with these crafters, it's, they're absolutely amazing. Okay. So we can set like a recipe in the middle and then put your input here, right? So what we'll do for now is we'll put all these uh, construction crystals there, what I like to call them, uh, in the middle here. Because without these, uh, you're not gonna be able to make any of the, the next step, right? So it's important to have one on each one of these, right? So what we'll do is we'll uh, just take a stack of these for now and we'll go around and that's gonna make that so what we'll do is we'll just do this right now. This will in turn create the next uh, the next stuff that we need, right? Now you notice it's not super fast. Well, we will change that. We will change that. So I got more than enough to do the next stage. Um, what I really like is one of the reasons why I wanted to keep it down so low is you kind of see the outcome item of what you're going to be making. Uh, I think it looks really awesome. So now we can go to the next step. And we can do that here. We can put some of these in here. Uh, just make sure we, uh, oh, where are these going? Oh, do they get pulled into the next one next to it? Oh, I didn't know that. If that's a thing, like that's kind of awesome. Um, maybe it didn't. I don't know. Cause it shouldn't have on anywhere else right I got four let me try that let me just try that so if I grab here these here and I just put them in here like this right do they disappear they're disappearing and they're going into here I believe yeah they are too okay so I didn't know that they they all connect like that wow that's like wow that's game breaker you know how much gonna save me <laughs> i'm just gonna have to hook up a pipe to this one here and we're done man like that's it i can maybe just even hook one up here like this go um I can put a filter on it that way it's only extracting that in particular one and putting it in there and we're good to go and that would be that like that's that's so wow that's awesome that really is awesome. Okay, so uh, let's continue with the rest then. Um, did I get enough? I did. So we'll go into this one. We'll put these here and we'll toss them there. And that should continue. So in the meantime, I'm just going to go and fill this up here, right? That way we can continue getting more of this stuff and it can keep going down the line. Wow, I really didn't. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> you learn stuff every day. You learn stuff every day. Yeah, this is awesome. So what we'll do is we'll just um, hmm. It's because I want to store some too, right? So we're gonna have to do kind of like a round robin thing, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Wow, I didn't know that. Um, 
Now I'm going to really have to think about how that's going to get set up like that because that's kind of mind blowing. Um, go like that. I should start sending them over here. Correct? Or blue? No, I just screw that up. Yeah, I did. Okay, so that should be the blue ones. There you go. Oh, that makes the red ones. Which in turn makes the purple ones. So yeah, that's how that would go. <clears throat> but now, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get them to go up into their proper storage because they, they go right over here and they daisy chain right away. Like, so it seems like it doesn't matter whether it's on um, Round Robert or not. Uh, the pipe seems to take priority, which is fine. Um, I'm okay with that because then that way we can stock this one up, then this one's going to get created, and this one's going to get created, and then so forth, right? So what we'll do is we'll have some kind of um, a backup of backup log of these ones going forward this way, which I think I would rather that way. Um, because then when we start the ingots, well, it's not going to be a backwards thing. You know what I mean? Like, it, yeah, I think that's going to be the best way of doing it. So I talked about uh, speed earlier uh, for these things on how slow they are and everything. And I think I know what I'm going to do with the area in the back behind here. So um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hollow out a little section. Works. All right, so let's put a torch in the middle of each one of these. Like this, like that, like so, and here. I only got four, which is uh, probably more than enough than what we're going to need for here. So we'll do this, this, and this. Now, these ones are water mills, okay? So we are going to need buckets of water. Just want this a little bit closer so I don't have to run all the way over there for it. Just throw it here for now. Oh, so the way these work is you need water flowing on all four sides. Or, yeah, uh, one, two, three, four. So if you go put a water bucket there and a water bucket here, well, the water is flowing, okay? Then you get 16 grid power. So that's pretty awesome. So that's the goal. We're going to put a water bucket in each corner. And we are going to generate grid power. I was like, I was thinking about it, and I'm like, geez, this is awfully slow. And I'm like, oh, I forgot about the grid power, right? Mm -hmm. So these upgrades we also got from um, Quest Rewards, which are pretty awesome. So if we take these things here, right? And you plop them in, look how fast it goes. And then this is going to fill up like super fast. And yeah. So with that being said, uh, we have upgrades for our pipes. So if I'm not mistaken, you take these and you go insert here. Now will that drain those really quick? Or do you need them on both ends of the pipe? I'm just curious. I'm, I'm not really familiar with these uh, upgrades. Because uh, that's an extract. Because we are extracting, right? I think the yeah, extract speed. So I think these need to just go into here. So that way we can extract super quick. There we go. See how <laughs> that's awesome. And this is going to fill up like super fast and then we'll be able to go to the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one. Now the thing is, is we're going to have to learn how to make these things. Um, drops of evil, evil infused iron ingots. You're going to need the previous magical ones, I guess. So let's check that out. Let's check this whole thing out. And then you're going to need these. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Okay. And then we're going to need these. That's cool. Uh, we already have some of these. So if we check out here, we got uh, some magical ones already. And we already have two sets of speed ones. 
So maybe we can look up to getting these going faster too as well. And then we can add more. Now it says you can go max upgrade 64. It means we can put 64 of these upgrades into there. That is that is insane. That truly is insane. I don't think that's necessary though. I think maybe 8 or 16 in each would be good. Um, we've emptied that already. That's crazy. All right, so let me go and put this stuff away and try to get rid of some of this essence. I think it, now is a good time that we can... Uh, I got rid of the barrels, so I guess we can hook up the uh, this to that. So this should be an insert, if I'm not mistaken. So we should be able to put these back. And jump like that, and like that. And then... Are we seeing these go in? Uh, the reason why I put cobblestone here is that way I know I'm not going to be picking up any cobblestones from my system. Excuse me. And then um, that way, well, no essence is, essence is going to get stuck in there. And it's all just going to go right into here. And then into here. It's all going to get processed. And we'll be good. So we're going to work our way down the chain after and... Be going so this is going to take a little while but uh yeah but in the meantime i guess i can start looking into all these upgrades so gold block of redstone these things here are oh a resonator ah i haven't used one of these in a long time okay so we need to make one of these that's fine that's fine we have grid power cooking over here so we'll bring that resonator in here all right, so now we have what it takes to make this uh, resonator. Uh, let's make a, a resonator. I made some uh, sound mufflers for the uh, planters over there too because they're pretty uh, pretty loud. So um, now that that's done, we'll remove that. Uh, now we need weighted pressure plates. It looks like these have to be gold. <laughs> I think we might be making another chicken here. So... Uh, that goes all the way to a magical wood chicken. All right, we'll put the magical wood chicken on there. <laughs> that's freaking awesome. All right, uh, that's going to help us get that. And then we can make these uh, magical apples instead of doing an enchanter, right? Which I'm sure we could do an enchanter too. Um, but at the same time too, it's a chicken. Come on. Like, this is awesome. And it gets us more chickens too. So, um this is a backup thing if we really, 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 really need to. Uh, what about these? I think this is where we're going to need the enchanter anyway. So we'll put the enchanter on here. The enchanter is an enchanted book. Now, do I have an enchanted book? Oh, we're going to need an enchanter like that then. Uh, some experience, I guess, from ourself. Prismarine, which is we have. So we can do all of that. So this is a step-by-step -step process, I guess. That's kind of like a whole episode in itself. Jeez, my lord. Is reading the grid power from all the way over here? No. It's awesome. Okay, so it doesn't have to be near there. So let's just like plop it here then. And then we can put these there. No, that's awesome. The grid power is reading all the way over here. That's wicked. Okay, that's good. Means we can put those speed upgrades into here too. That's for good. There we go. We'll throw these uh, speed upgrades in here. Oh, I guess that's too much. Oh, now we broke it. So five, four seems to be the max. Probably because I'm using so much GP over there. That's very possible, right? So. That's pretty good. Well, we'll do it like that. We'll leave those in there and then. All right. So I put in some sound mufflers here. So that should help with the sound a little bit. So unfortunately, it doesn't get rid of all the sound, but it does help with bringing it down quite a bit. So I think that's what we're going to have to call it for today, everybody. We uh, got quite a bit done. Uh, we got uh, this up and running. Uh, it's not as fast as. We're going to like it, but in the next episode, I think we're going to work on getting these speed upgrades. Um, I think that's the best thing to do. We already started a little bit today, but I think this is the best way to go is to do it that way. So, hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Like, subscribe.
and we will see you next time.